Hey guys, Nick Harris here. Welcome back. It's Surmountable, part seven. I literally just stopped the recording, started right back up. I'm really enjoying this game. I especially like the way that the story goes now with all these side quests, different adventurers, having a lot of fun with it. So this little bunker that we sort of stage out of. So we got two side quests here. Um, I think we'll go ahead and try just, this, we'll just do this one and we'll grab the scientist see here do I have to actually select the scientist firm okay change, change character I thought I thought there was somewhere where I could change the character I just didn't want to pass it so we did the scientist oh and they each get their own upgrade points too oh that's great so we don't have to spread them thin so it's just like the experience points wonderful well that's good to know so that gives you a sanity there whenever you wake up 10 and gain 10 energy that sounds amazing. And then gain another 15 energy. So every time you wake up, you're going to end up with... Wow, 25 energy? That sounds amazing. What about these? Eagle Eye. Camera distance. Camera zoom. Okay. Oh, it has a cooldown. Duration. Oh, you only get to use it once. Then it cools down. But you get to do it every four hours. That's not too bad. Cooldowns 36 hours on this one. Spend some time to gain experience. To just get free experience. Just ponder. Think deep thoughts. Mad genius. Spend sanity to gain temporary buff to your choice of your choice. Alright. Adrenaline. Whenever you suffer a dangerous train event, gain some energy. It's not too bad. I think I'm gonna stick with this, and I'm just gonna kinda max this out real quick. Comfort at home, yes. 30%. Better canned food and oxygen bottle use. Like, more efficient. Then 50%. As an herbology. 30% effectiveness of teas and herbs. To then 50%. Okay, I'm just going to go with the early sleeper. And let's get some extra energy through our sleep events. That seems like a really awesome thing to have. And then we got active skill here, first aid. Spend some time to heal your wounds. So we can, oh wow, you can get three health back. And it cools down every 24. That's powerful. That seems so powerful. So it only costs you three hours of time. And you get three health back. And health can be used to basically take care of you losing sanity, warmth, energy. Well, I don't think energy hurts you. It's the events from energies, you know, that hurt. The oxygen. Lack of oxygen. Okay, let's do that. First aid. Nice. Okay, well, and then let's do journal journalist here while we're here. Light steps. Energy cost, not bad. Investigate journalism. Extra extra experience points when we reach uh, points of interest. Thirst for knowledge. Whenever you level up, gain 15 energy and 15... Oh, we level up quite a bit. Oh, gain 15 across the board, uh, except for sanity and health. You get a little bit less on those. A robust mine. Hmm, that's pretty good right there. I'm gonna do light steps though. Save save some energy costs here. Careful steps. That's uh requires that's an active skill. Enthusiasm. Gain energy whenever you reach a point of interest. Eight energy. Take that. Uh, another twelve energy whenever we reach points of interest, which is quite often. And then I think I'm probably going to use this one down here. Let's do this. Okay, yeah. And then let's do... Whenever we level up, we get energy and temperature and all this. We're going to be pretty powerful. But right now, we're going to be using the scientist. She's got uh, some wake-up energy and first aid trade-off skills. So, got ourselves a tent. We got some food. And the flashlight. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go with it. Four minutes in. Four and a half minutes in. Just getting started. Sorry. I get excited when I get to spend all those points like that. There's a new task waiting for you. A new challenge to master. You head out again into the unknown. Alright, so here we go. And this one has a summit up here. We gotta go up and over this hill. and Maybe over another one. I'm not 100% sure. Obviously. First place we're going to go is right here. 
so this is the first day we can activate it here. Cool. Oh, I gotta go down one. Sorry. <laughs> it fooled me. There we go. Ruined station. You find at the foot of a slope, you stumble across the remains of a building. They belong to an occupying force. Parts of it are completely buried under rock. It must have been a landslide. Between the rubble, you can see a few electronic devices and metal containers. You could go down there and search for provisions. Um, yeah, let's do it. It's just going to cost a little bit of time. We walk carefully across the rubble. Spot a hollow underneath a boulder. Something glints. Light falls across it. Carefully reach in the gap. Try to grab it. Brush it with our fingerprint tips. Can't quite get it. Feel like... Uh, oh, we did get it. Uh, I feel like jumping for joy. You've recovered some valuable equipment. So we got some boots, which we don't have right now. Heavy boots. So uh, reduced energy cost on stone. Good. I wonder if that actually helps you, like, like in an event, like, prevent rolling an ankle or, or damaging your feet. If you have proper footwear like that. Like, even though it's not explicitly mentioned, I wonder if that's, like, sort of a... Kind of like a byproduct. All right, so we gaze wanders across the ground as you balance on a narrow ridge. Something catches your eye, covered in a fine layer of ice. Bright colors of a mountain flower shine from between the rocks. You bend down over the petals and inhale the delicate fragrance. A warm feeling of happiness streams through you. So we have some additional sanity, which we didn't even need, but we leveled up, so that's good. And all of our bars up here are just doing wonderful. And tomorrow's going to be cold, but right now it's wonderful. So preserve energy. Control breathing. Uh, we probably want to do control breathing because we are going to be going up to the top of a mountain specifically. Yeah, let's do that. Start thinking about oxygen. All right, let's head this way. Oh, did we stumble upon an event? We must have. I didn't even see it. Anyone home? You catch a sound of wind burning. Well, we've done this one in the last episode. So do we search the tent or do we call out for the owner? Let's just call out for the owner and see what happens. Nothing happens. No response. You call again. Suddenly hear a crack behind you. Is someone trying to sneak up on you? You spin around and find yourself staring at a pair of eyes narrowed with fury. A local man shakes his bald fist at you, clearly wanting you to leave. You get the message. You hurry away and continue on your journey. So my ex the lesson learned there with my experience is not to mess with other people's property. Uh-oh. One of these random events. While moving through rough, stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. Well, that answers that question. I mean, maybe the chances of doing this were lessened, but it still happened. Man, I really jinxed us. I had jinxed us with that one, didn't I? My bad, guys. Let's see the uh, temporary. Let's see how the 16 hours, 30% energy cost on all terrain. All right, I got you. Put that away. Well, actually, you know what? I could leave them down, couldn't I? Oh, I can only have one down at a time. Yeah, let's do that then. That way we keep an eye on it. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We'll be I. Fragile ice. You reach a shore of a frozen mountain lake on the embankment to find what remains of a camp. You can take a look around, but nothing useful in sight. Or is there? Just a few yards from you on the sheet of ice, you spot some unopened canned food. Do you want to retrieve it? Hmm. Let's give it a try. You made it. You collapse on the embankment and stow the canned food in your pack. It's, it's going to taste good. Oh, two canned foods. Okay, that was pretty good. Nice. Got a lot of energy ready to be consumed. And my favorite, take it slow. All right take a look here got a couple people of it oops sorry a couple people events right up there I say we kind of head that direction yeah well you know what let's get up here first I can do this let's get up here and see where we're at once we're up here I kind of want to find a, a little cave to sleep in for the time being Oh, we got a shrine. We're going to go for the shrine. Uh, the only thing we really need is energy. So hopefully they offer that to us. They always give you an option of two two things. 
Energy usually isn't one of them. Jingling fills the air around you. Harmonious and melo <sighs> melodious. Is that how you say it? Sanity or health? Eh, I really don't need either. All right, let's do sanity. And do I see a cave anywhere? No. Oh, there's one all the way over here, but that's really far away. And we'd be breaking, breaking legs all the way there. I don't really want to use my tent quite yet, but... All right, let's head on down here. And we'll use the tent again. Have I used it once already? I can't remember. Let me check. Stay by. Check real quick. No, we haven't used it yet. Okay. Getting my episodes mixed up. That's what happens when I film back-to-back -back episodes. Heart of the Explorer in a shell in a rocky hollow. Well protected from wind and weather, you discover a tent. Or what remains of one. Oh, yeah, we've already gone through all that. Search for provisions or continue. Yeah, we're searching. <laughs> we're searching. Yep, he's gone for some time, not coming back. And we got some more food. Couldn't use the food just to keep going if I wanted to, but I might save that for emergency situations. So where do I need? That's where I need to go for this. Some ruins again. A couple empty oxygen bottles. And just take just take the bottles. Now we could sur thoroughly search the tent. Make it to day fall or uh, to uh, yeah day fall day fall. Uh, to sunrise. And it's gonna be cold though. Right now it's clear. And we can sleep through most of uh, the bad weather or the cold weather. I have a feeling we're going to end up with a storm because we haven't had a storm in a, in a long time. Let's thir thoroughly search it. Unfortunately, nothing useful except for some experience points. Wow, that was a waste of time. All right, let's... um. Where do I need to go? I need to go up that way. Uh, I kind of don't want to go that way. I don't want to head this way. I see. I don't really see a lot of. I'm looking really close here to see if I can find any caves. What's that? Can't even tell what that is. That's odd looking, is what that is. Oh, there's a cave over here. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to stay here. We can almost make it to that cave. But then my thing is, am I going that far in that direction? That's basically counterproductive to going that way. It's almost the opposite direction. All right, I think we go up here, and then we kind of head down as far as we can this way. And then use the tent. But I'm not going to go over here and try to get this one. So we found a corpse. Skin's gray and cold. That that happens. Take a cursory look. Thoroughly search it. Eh, it's just going to cost a little bit more sanity. Let's do that. Find some equipment. And we got some gloves. Some mittens. This will help with uh, temperature, which is kind of what we... I don't know. Kind of what... Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and use that. For the time being. One more push. Under the stars. Reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent. That's the only thing. But it says 3.5 body temperature per hour when resting slash in events. I'll get that. 75% more. I'm going to do this one since we're going higher up. Even though I do have to activate it. So yeah, that's where I would activate that. Okay, oops, that's not what I want. Let's head on down this way. Let's see if we can make it to the shrine without getting injured. We're going to try. Probably not. It's probably a bad idea. I should probably just take it slow. Yeah, I think I will. I think I just pause it right here. When I go there, that, that's good enough. All right, let's just go ahead and rest here. Sleep for a long time. Look at that. 
Look at all that energy I get back. That's pretty That's pretty awesome. And we're actually getting a little t body temperature back, even though it's cold. And it's going to be cold tomorrow as well. There we go. Okay. Head down here. See if we can get some warmth. It's kind of what we need at the moment. Uh, gigantic footprints again. I'm not going to reread that entire thing for like the third time. So jump to the other side or carefully climb down. Let's carefully climb down. And we got some boots. What kind of boots we got here? Insulated boots. Since uh, temperature is what we're kind of worried about right now, we're going to go ahead and switch that out as well. Shrine with a fire pit. I'm thinking, thinking we should be able to get warm. And there it is. All right, we'll take that. Nice. Okay, what is this? I'm really curious about this. Oh, it's a handshake. Okay, it just looked different for some reason to me. I don't know why. Okay, well, I don't really need to definitely go that way. Let's see, I can go this way. How much out of the way is that? That's not too bad. Yeah, let's do that. There's one right here. Yeah, let's go to this one first. Since we're below the death zone. Hey, are we going to sprain our ankle? Did we do that? No, we just lost some body temperature. Which we kind of need right now. That's okay. Vacuum flask filled with tea. All right. Sir, thoroughly search the tents. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to take a... Yeah, let's just do the quick look around then. Because if I thoroughly search, we're going to be hitting our health. Let's just do that. So we got a flask filled with tea. We'll take that. And we'll drink it straight away. Wonderful. Well, that was okay. Didn't really do a whole heck of a lot for us, but it was fun. And we'll head over here. Unless I see something better over this direction. But right now I don't really see anything. Um, I kind of want to make it over there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's quite a few uh, events over there. All right, let's see what we get here. Wolf's head. Come across the remnants of a wall. Weathered stone wolf head stares at you with lifeless eyes. That's interesting. Examine it. Costs quite a bit of energy. It's probably just going to be like a sanity boost or something. I, I guess we could do that, but... I kind of want to keep my energy. Let's just keep moving on this one. Kind of keep moving forward a little bit. As best we can. A trade, huh? Boulder grabs your attention. It's virtually rectangular and its edges are smooth as if someone has worked it into this shape, but... That's not all. There's also an oxygen bottle laying neatly wrapped on the rock. An offering? Your inner voice urges you not only to take, but also to give. What would you leave in this place? Canned food. Take the offering without leaving anything. Kind of okay with that. Um, I think we have three canned food, don't we? Four. And we might need the oxygen bottle, so... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the trade. And I already put the can over there, apparently, so. There we go. All right. So from here, let's make it up. Let's see. So I kind of want to go that way. Not that way. How do I go that way? Is that how you do it? Okay, well, let's make it here. 
and we'll rest. Seems like we're doing all of our traveling at night and we're sleeping during the day. Our sleep cycle is backwards. But the best we can. All right, let's go and use our tent. All right, let's do that. Body temperature is going to go up a little bit too. That'll be nice. Oh, tomorrow's supposed to be decent. So, good weather tomorrow. There we go. Now, I could probably eat some food and make it up to this. But, uh... Oh, never mind. I already... I'm, I'm doing... Yeah, I won't have any problem making it there. Never mind. I was thinking I was going to be a little bit short getting there, but... Apparently not. Hmm. Let's see if I go that way and then this way. Then. Where's my. Where's that hat? There. Alright, let's do that. And we're still going to have plenty of energy left, so probably just uh, sleep there for a short period of time. Or probably till morning when the weather changes. Should be in pretty good shape. I think we'll be warm enough at that point. And we're still below, well below the death zone. So we got some terrain in front of us with uh, boulders and fragmented rocks. Um, we're going to... We're going to take a little bit of extra time here and use energy if we have to. Or, uh, yeah. Because of the weather changing and getting better tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and sacrifice uh, warmth rather than energy. Plus, I think this is a safer way to do it test the rocks but there's some major red flags here one false move and you could start an avalanche It'd be better to find a detour that's what we'll do stop here abandoned radio relay station you can't believe your eyes has fallen antenna is blocking your path I look around climb over the antenna and continue my journey or take a detour um let's take a look around so you clamber over the iron struts. You notice an open crate amidst all the scrap metal. You lie on your belly and reach out and fish uh, out a few for provisions. Try to get back up. Lose your balance. Falling forward. Gashing your knee. Oh, well. But we got ourselves a flask of tea. That's going to cost us a little bit of uh, energy for the for movement for the next 16 hours. Right? Is that what it's going to be? Let's see, yeah, there's the injured leg, 16 hours. And we leveled up. Uh, negative. Oh, reduced time cost when moving and climbing while oxygen is high. But we're about ready to leave that, so I'm not really, not really too interested in that right now. But I would like to get better, like, replenished more as we sleep. And controlled breathing wouldn't be bad either. Let's do the take it slow, though. Because we do have an oxygen bottle still, so. Where's this one at? There it is. Okay, let's go to that. Oh, man, this is weird. Camera. Bumping into things. Shooting stars. Another shooting star. Sanity or energy. Jeez, I'm not, I'm not going to even need the cave. We'll take the uh, take the energy, though. Well, let's stop here at the cave. You know what I could do is I could run around and do a bunch of little side quests here and then come back to the cave. I don't know if that's smart, though. I might just want to kind of continue up. How many tents do I have? Do I have two left? Just one. Ooh. All right. I think what I want to do is I want to go hit these events right here. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Well, before we do that, we might want to put on our... Oh, no. I think I'm going to stay here and rest until morning. We might find something in the back of the cave as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do the cave. There we go. Shimmer light. So we're going to get some of sanity back here. Follow the light. Fireflies. There we go. Not much, but a little bit. 
Lie down to sleep. Body temp's going to go up quite a bit if we do that. Either way, energy's going to be maxed out, but it's the body temperature. And we definitely want to max out the body temperature. So we're going to sleep for quite a while here. There we go. All right. Nice clear day. Um, do I want to go and have a contact with somebody or just straight up? I think we'll go this way. But um, let me see here. Is there a temporary? So those are my perks for my clothing right there. I think I might use my climbing gear at this point because it's not too bad. The weather's not too bad. And if I put this on here, these down here. So that's on stone, but this is going to help us with climbing, climbing energy costs. Let's do that since we're doing a lot of climbing right here. And it looks like it forces us this way, not up around maybe. Not sure. Lonely grave. In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here. Search for clues or reflect and pay tribute. Um, yeah, let's search for some clues. You carefully nudge your rocks with your boots, and there's something there. You bend down and find some old but usable equipment. Another mountaineer must have buried it here. You have a lot of questions and no answers. Who were they? How did they know about the island? What happened to their companion who buried them? Yeah, let's take the equipment. Yes, the unknown climber for forgiveness, but, but you are sure they won't. But you are sure they won't hold a grudge against you. After all, they have no use for the equipment anymore, but you do. So uh, some some uh, hiking staffs, which I really don't have. Oh yeah, I can put them right here. Okay, we'll do that. Wonderful. See, can I get up this way? Yes. Maybe we'll find a cave over here. Hard to say. But we're getting close to the top. Can we make it all the way to the top? Probably not. No, but we can get close. Yeah, let's let's do this. Death zone. We're finally in the death zone. We will take it slow. All right, a stone circle here. We've seen this before. Examine the area. Continue on a journey. Really can't afford the temperature loss. Um, could drink some tea. Let's go and do that. Let's drink some tea. Examine the area. Silent witness to of an ancient and lost culture. Did nature do this to them or that were they destroyed by other humans? You're not sure, but something will eventually rise from these ruins, such as the circle of life. Such is the circle of life. You're about to move on when you spot something twinkling beneath one of the monoliths. You move closer and discover some equipment that you can put to good use. So we got some snowshoes again. So let's see here. Heavy boots or snowshoes. Um, I think we put these on unless we have... Oh, this is all rock, isn't it? Uh, never mind. We're going to switch back. Switch that back. Switch that back there. Okay. And we could do the insulated boots, honestly. Let's see what happens if we do. That's not too bad. Yeah, it's barely. I'm, I'm more worried about the body temperature than I am the energy. So we'll go with that for now. Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. There's a cave right there. There's a cave right there. Oh, man, I'm glad I was looking around. Get down there, son. It's going to be beautiful tomorrow, too, so. All right, you enter a vast cave. Several passages um, lead deep into the mountain, and you hear the metallic clanging. Yeah, we're going to follow the noise. It's getting dark. Use the flashlight. Nice. Got a bandage. Wonderful. So if we get hurt, we got a bandage. And let's go ahead and lie down and sleep. There we go. Ah, eh, that's going to help. That's going to help out quite a bit. Only thing that we're really losing there is a little bit of oxygen. But we do have the oxygen bottle, so we should be all right. I go this way, and then I go this way. Okay. 
So we can go that way if we want to, or we can go, let me see here. Let me back out here. What if we go this way? Okay. And then if we go to the summit, we're close to it. That seems like a more efficient route than going this way. I'm going to go this way. Towards the uh, human interaction here. Uh-oh. As you pick your way across some boulders on the edge of a precipice, you notice an indigenous man below you. Uh, I keep killing this guy every time. Waving his arms frantically. He's trying to tell you in a hurry. Many of the rocks are loosened in danger of plummeting into the depths. Go quickly or move. Every time I move carefully, he ends up dying. So I'm going to move quickly. I'll probably end up hurting myself. You hop from rock to rock to escape danger zone as quickly as possible. You twist your ankle. I knew it. I called it. You yelp in pain. Yelp. But you hobble on until you feel firm ground beneath you again. You pause to examine your injury. Your ankle is already swelling up. But put some ice on it. Should be hard to should be hard to accomplish, though. So. Well, at least we didn't kill the guy. I want to move slowly and kill the guy every now. Uh, 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 from this point forward, we're killing the dude. <laughs> Sprain ankle, 16 hours. Jeez. All right. Plus one. Reserve your breath. I don't know. I don't think we really need to do that yet. We're not quite we're not quite to that point. Stand by. Let's move up here. Have this little human contact. Maybe it'll be somebody who specializes in healing ankles. A local man, maybe. Sitting up against a rock face, waves you over. Yeah, as you approach him, he holds out an oxygen bottle. His face contorted with pain. He says something to you, but you don't understand a word. Take the oxygen bottle or find out what's wrong with him. Well, we have a bandage. Might be able to help this dude out. If it were me, yeah, I don't want to help him out. Let's see what we, what we can figure out here. You look at the stranger; he keeps grabbing his shoulder. You're sure that he has dislocated it. Ah! You gesture him to hold out his hand out to you. You pull it with a jerk. He screams, or yelps, yelp. Then there's silence. A few seconds later, the stranger is beaming at you. That seems to have done the trick. He hands you a gift and thanks. Oh, so we got ah oh, crampons and an ex oxygen bottle. Nice. We're going to put those crayballs on right away. And um, I don't know. I don't know. What do I want to get rid of? I guess I could eat one of these. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but we'll do it. See if we can make room now. Mm. Trying to figure out. I'm trying to Tetris my way out of this situation. All right. Let's put the climbing gloves on. And... Insulated boots, heavy boots. Uh, let's get rid of the heavy boots if we have to. Let's keep those. I guess I still need to get rid of something else. Ah, uh, the snowshoes. Yeah, we have those back at home anyway. So, not a big deal. I think if I eat another one of these, I can... Now, it'll just... Yeah, that'll be a waste. Complete waste. The energy cost on ice. Uh, decisions, decisions. Let's stick with what we got. It's not a huge deal. Yeah, I know. We're going to be leaving stuff behind. All right, so none of these are persistent. These are all active type things. Gain three sanity. I don't care about my sanity. Fast movement. 25% time cost. On all terrain reduced. Okay. Preserve energy. That seems even better. Let's do that. I'm going to activate that right now, actually. I am going to activate that one. Yeah, let's activate that. There we go. Ends in 24 hours. That's pretty good. Honestly, if I had to have one, it's, it's lasting like, it's not like four hours or anything like that. So we're going to summit and probably use the, uh, use the old uh, tent at the top of the summit. Should be fun. And it's going to be stormy tomorrow. That's not really the summit. Those rocks at the top are the summit. Alright, well we made it. Now we need to figure out where the exit is. You made it, your fame, your face, your fame. Your face is worn with, with effort, but your hard work is not in vain. The experience you had at the information you have gathered about the mountain has been, uh, 
is bringing you step by step closer to your goal but of course you still have to make it to your destination so I get a little boost there of everything and yeah, it's not too far it doesn't look like so let's get the heck off of this mountain and there's probably a uh there's probably a something down here I see a cave over here that's not too bad you can go there and stay the night and then what's the route down to this one here okay so we could go that way sure let's do that yeah that'll be about perfect <gasps> excuse me all right Hopefully this cave has something decent for us. Of course, our backpack's starting to get really full. Enter the cave in the rear cave. You notice, no, okay, sanity boost. Follow the light, fireflies. There we go. So let's go ahead and lay down and sleep here. Yeah, let's do that. Warmth energy and we're, we're going to get out of the death zone pretty quickly so I'm not I'm not worried at all about my oxygen but it is going to get a little crappy here bring on the snow now we just need to remember oh, well you can see it yeah you can still see it okay cool so let's go and click on that make it as far as we can basically keep an eye out for things along this general route that might be beneficial to us see anything right now well there's another cave up top there but I think we have plenty Let's see here where do we get we run out there eh, might might just go up there and uh it's gonna be stormy tomorrow too hmm, doesn't really matter go up here we're gonna be down here and lose more oxygen but we'll get some you know what I say we just kind of Go for it, because we can make it almost, almost to the bottom. We, I don't know if that's going to be out of the death zone or not, but it'll be close. Yeah, it won't be out of the death zone. It looks like I'm going back and forth. Yeah, hold on, stop. Let me, me reevaluate the route here. There we go. So we'll stop where it's green. Use our last tent there. And if we come across anything else, at least we'll have room now. I guess we'll stop there. All right. Warmth is good. Oh, if we get on one more, or maybe two more, we'll be out of the death zone. So I say we do it. We gotta go for it. Let's get out of the death zone. That did it. Okay. Uh, we can state becoming an attentive. Yeah. Okay. So we took a little hit there. Let's pause. A little bit of a hit there for our health. Negative four health. Uh, preserve energy. Okay, it's still working. We could trade a little bit of... Uh, body temperature for health and then get that almost back but uh we're out of the death zone I, I think we're good there I don't think we or is it it's uh time right yeah okay oh I'm curious now nah, now nah, I'm gonna leave it let's go ahead and uh set up a tent here wait a minute Oh, that's right. You get a little burst of energy from it. So you can actually... Oh, there's a cave right there. Perfect. So it cost us a little bit of health, but we got like... Because we were scared, we got like this burst of energy. So that's kind of cool. All right. All right, great. Strong smell. Follow the smell. Tufts of fur and bone. All right. Little experience points. That's, that's, uh, that's what else we got out of that. And we'll go ahead and just sleep doesn't really matter we're gonna max out our energy max out our warmth get some oxygen back which doesn't matter now because we're not losing it anymore a peaceful cave I like that very nice oh there's another cave right in front of us go stay the night in this cave <laughs> we'll explore it just because it's right there it might have something decent in it could go do that little interaction with the humans, but ah, uh, extinguished campfire lying in front of a stranger, bundled up. 
Um, let's wake him up. I don't know why that would hurt her sanity, but like I don't because I wake my kids up every morning doesn't mean that like I'm less sane. The pressure mounting ear, but he doesn't react. You bend over and sh gently shake him. He murmurs something incomprehensible incompre and rolls over on his other side. He doesn't seem to want to talk to you. Okay, well we tried. Once again in the cave. All right, let's just do the uh, let's just do the short one here. This it really doesn't matter. Plenty of energy. At least it's daytime now. All right, now can I make it over here? Yeah, but. I want to stop here first. Let me see. Hold on. Stop there. And then there. Yeah, let's go that route. One more treasure chest to explore. Uh-oh. A canyon with a rope stretch across it. You have could have done that. And <laughs> can you risk using it? Uh, no. Take a detour. Yeah, it, it's going to cost us a little extra time. And it's going to give us more oxygen. Versus becoming more insane. Now, see, I get that. I get that. Especially if you're afraid of heights to begin with. The jo if the rope snapped, you'd never survive the fall. You decide to find another way. Probably a smart idea. Wait, wait, wait. What's that glowing down there? Oh, it's just a couple of vents. Nothing major. A ruined station at the foot of a slope. You stumble across the remains of a building. Did it belong to an occupied forest? Parts of it are completely buried under rock. It must have been a landslide. Between the rubble, you can see a few electronic devices and small metal containers. You could go down there and search for provisions. Yeah, go for it. Search for it. Knock yourself out. Walking carefully over the rubble, when your attention is grabbed by a scrap of cloth, you move closer and discover human remains. You breathe in sharply, shocked. You try not to disturb the body. Who was this person? Were they part of an occupying force? A looter? Like you? Decide to turn back immediately before you end up like this poor soul. Yeah, we got experience points and we level up again. So yeah, that's pretty good. Euphoria. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Not that we're going to get to use it much. <laughs> I, I, the euphoria is that you made it to your goal here. And it's nightfall. And we made it out. So the side mission has been completed. You reach your goal, your body feels weak, but your heart is jumping for joy. You know that the mountain is a merciless fo foe, but this time around, you have defeated it. All right. We made it. We made it through another one. All right, let me double, double click that. Hey, look. I can learn things. All right. All right, guys. Well, 43 minutes. Not too bad. Oh, stranger. That's right. She always wants to talk to us. Oh, you made it back in one piece. Looks like we ha will have to redefine the word insurmountable for you. That's it. She's normally like chatty Kathy. Oh, well. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, 60% of you out there are not subscribed. What's up? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Greatly appreciate it. See you in the next one. Y'all take care.